Working in a garage is not exactly Camelot, but it's where I met Zack. I'm a wizard who works alone. Not anymore. Now they tell me I need an apprentice. And he's it. The Merlin? You have to be over 1,600 years old. Well, I do 30 push-ups a day and I don't eat fried food. Did you part the Red Sea? Oh, I'm good, but I'm, I'm not that good. I've seen so much junk in my life. You call this junk? In these boxes is the history of a man, fragments of a dozen lifetimes, his triumphs, his souvenirs, a million irreplaceable memories. <laughs> that! The irreplaceable memories are here. This is replaceable. Where'd you get that? The Kaiser and I used to have roles together. You want to get rid of all of this? All of it. Useless clutter. I want the whole thing thrown out. Dear Max, my love pumpkin? Except that. <laughs> well, if I had all this stuff, I'd have a garage sale. Is that all you think about, money? And maidens. Well, maidens cost money, like everything else. I mean, my life is flying by me, and I can't afford to live it. Which brings up a subject I want to discuss with you. Remember this, Alex? Oh, you made that for Galileo. <laughs> the Galileo? Yeah, uh, puzzle freak. I made it for him. Simple, irresistible, and impossible to put back together. But that's back together. I put it back. <laughs> Drove him so crazy, he nearly blew the telescope. Mr. Merlin, there's still something I want to talk to you about. I know. You have a fantasy that I'm going to give you a raise. I'd like to show you one of my fantasies. Simple no would have been less painful. Also, less memorable. <laughs> okay, boys, what'll it be? Uh, we're still thinking. Broke again, huh? Well, gave it away. Leo's crying. My dad cut off my allowance. He wants me to get a job. Mr. Merlin said no to my raise. This is a restaurant, not puberty hotline. How much you got? Forty-six cents. Forty-six cents. Here's what I can give you for forty-six cents. You can have tomato sauce and cheese. No pizza. I can give you the dough. Uncooked. No tomato sauce, no cheese. Or your choice of three slices of pepperoni, thin. Six mushrooms or a half a cup of chopped green pepper. Now, you best better the olives. I can give you nine. No napkins, no silverware, no water. No tip. No kidding. Joyce, pick up. 26 cents. It's degrading. Leo, we gotta think of a way to make some extra money. If your allowance is cut off, can you collect unemployment? Gimme, that's what we need. Something that catches on fast and makes us the big bucks. Yeah, like a, a pet rock, or a hula hoop, or a frisbee. Salt shaker, Leo. What an invention. A napkin. So simple. A fork. A fork, Leo. Yeah. There must be a Mr. Fork somewhere living it up real good. We're smart guys. We ought to be able to think of something. If I wasn't so hungry, I could think. Can you believe this? Some nerd phones in an order and then doesn't show up. Do me a favor, will you? Uh, take this off my hands. It's a shame for it to go to waste. I told you, Joyce. You only had 46 cents. Ah, what a coincidence. That's exactly what it cost. That is not a waitress, Leo. That is a saint. Well, what do you think, Mr. Merlin? It's revolutionary. It's a lock, right? Looks like pieces of orange paint. <laughs> <laughs>
That's what it is. Why would anyone want to buy pieces of orange paint? Because they're part of the Golden Gate Bridge. You scrape this off the Golden Gate Bridge? Oh, who's going to notice? They're always repainting it. You know, there are some people who'd be interested in this. Yeah? Who? The police. <laughs> you deface one of the wonders of the world for easy money. Why, you two ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Well, how about this one, Mr. Merlin? Ready? Ready. Teeth tattoos. <laughs> Smile, a message to your friends. You could also sell advertising space. Leo, go home and brush. Zach, the garage opens in 20 minutes. Be there. Not being very supportive, Mr. Merlin. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, they're wonderful. They are not wonderful. And neither is this whole get-rich-quick philosophy of theirs. I don't trust them. They're too hungry. They'd do anything if they saw a chance of making a killing. I don't believe that for a minute. Well, they told Edison that the light bulb wasn't a breakthrough. Are you seriously comparing the electric light bulb with teeth tattoos? Do you think it's a stretch? It's a stretch. But I'm not discouraged. Well, neither am I. I gotta think of something that's simple and inexpensive and irresistible. Leo, meet me at your house after work, okay? Why? There's an old Chinese proverb. One man's garbage is another man's fortune. <laughs> we call it the impossible puzzle. Why do we call it that? Because once you take it apart, you can't put it back together again. You're telling me that Leo Samuels, king of the crossword, Prince of the puzzle? You're telling me that I can't take apart and put together this simple demi-polytetrahedron? That's right, Mr. Humble. That's exactly what I'm telling you. I'll, uh, I'll bring you this for dessert. You do that, Leo. Come in. Good morning, partner. How are we doing? I saw it together. I took it apart. It has to go back together. Why won't it do that? That's the beauty of it. It won't. It don't. And it can't. Where'd you get this? Uh, my uncle, the design engineer. It was an old college project. He thought it was worthless, so he just threw it out. I don't blame him. What good is it if you can't put it back together? The key is the pieces only go back together once. It doesn't make sense. We were looking for a gimmick, weren't we? All we gotta do is take these pieces down to wood shop and make new pieces. Each set can be put together once. Zach. I know, I know. My uncle couldn't handle it either. That's why they put him in a home. Can you believe it? First he steals my puzzle. Then he makes me his uncle, and now he puts me in a home. He didn't steal your puzzle. You threw it away. He stole my puzzle. Now he's going to rip off a nation. What is so dishonest? They're going to sell a puzzle that can't be put back together to people who think that it can be put back together. Now that's dishonest. Once it starts, there's no telling where it's going to stop. Look, totally up front. No cover-ups, no deceptions. Hmm. I'm proud of them. Come on, let's go down and buy a puzzle. Good. They 
they're failing. You are terrible. Remember what you said about one man's garbage? Hmm? How about two men's garbage? <laughs> New ideas take time. Well, maybe they don't see us. They see us. They just don't want us. Well, we gotta get them to want it. Are you sure you can't put this puzzle back together? No way. You're positive. Positive. The almost impossible puzzle. Solve it, win a thousand dollars? All right, everybody. One thousand dollars to the first person who solves the almost oh. impossible puzzle. Spend only a dollar, make a thousand dollars. Who is terrible? That's, that's cheating. They know it can't be done. But their public doesn't. Look at that. Greed, feeding greed. Pretty soon our young entrepreneurs will be hustling their gimmick to toy manufacturers all over the place. You can't let them get away with that, Max. I mean, that's big business. They get caught cheating by those guys and they're gonna get... You gotta find a way to stop them, Max. <laughs> I don't see any money here. Who's putting up the thousand dollars? E.J. Rosebud here. I heard about your impossible puzzle. The Rosebud Toy Company will gladly put up the thousand dollars. My card. I want exclusive manufacturing, promotional, and sales rights to this puzzle. Save your dollars, folks. These samples are on the house. <laughs> Boys, I'm going to make you very rich. I really appreciate you giving me time off to see Mr. Rosebud. Well, you sure heard about us fast. Well, I guess news travels when you have a winner, huh? You made me your uncle and put me in a home. I had to explain it some way to Leo. Besides, I was going to tell you about the puzzle. We weren't trying to hide anything. We found something the public wanted and we delivered. Come in. In here, Leo. Well, I'm ready for the big day. What's in the briefcase, Mr. Tycoon? Two salami and cheese and one tuna on rye. <laughs> big business stimulates his appetite. Hey, you could be looking at two of the richest young men in San Francisco. Anything is possible. Well, off to meet our destiny. Good luck. Bye, Mr. Merlin. Thank you. And uh, write to me from prison. <laughs> why prison, Mr. Merlin? Yeah, why prison? Oh, or did I say prison? <laughs> Must have slipped out. Are you unhappy with what we're doing? What business is it of mine? He's unhappy. <laughs> why shouldn't I be happy? A boy who works for me and his best friend are about to commit an illegal, immoral, and irresponsible act. Hey, what's wrong? We give the customers hours of entertainment, challenge their minds a little, and all for the low cost of a dollar. With an added incentive of a thousand dollars to keep it interesting. So who gets hurt? It's a nice come on, isn't it, Leo? Especially since you know no one will ever collect. Doesn't it give your consciences a little twinge? I guess I got my twinge under control. Me too. You know, there's a Chinese proverb. Is this the one about garbage? No. Greed. If two sharks into business wallow, both will bite, but one will swallow. Could you repeat that again, Mr. Merlin? Well, it's difficult enough for two friends to start a legitimate business without being at each other's throats. Zack and me? No way. We grew up together. Yeah, we trust each other. We love each other. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Look, you two better get going. You'll be late. Bye-bye, Mr. Merlin. Bye. <laughs> Have a nice meeting. Now, as you all know, our prime...
primetime TV spot running on 212 stations starts on Friday. Chart. <laughs> New York, Philadelphia, Detroit, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Each, ladies and gentlemen, each market ordering in excess of 100,000 units. <sighs> and we've only just opened the door. Chart. <laughs> Sales projections. In two weeks, four million dollars. In four weeks, eight million dollars. Three months, 26 million. And the beat goes on. As Rosebud delivered, it's unreal. It's fantastic. Would you like a uh, salami and cheese or a tuna fish sandwich? Impressive presentation, Ms. Hopewell. The product speaks for itself, Mr. Rosebud. Ah, uh, Mr. Samuels, we need some personal background on you for our sales brochure. Sure. Wonderful concept. <laughs> this can't be your first venture into the business world. No. As a matter of fact, during the summer, I uh, sell lemonade in front of my house. <laughs> I'm worried, Zachary. About what? Leo. He was just kidding about the lemonade stand. I don't worry about lemonade stands. I worry about sandwiches in the briefcase mentality. I'll give it to you straight, Zachary. Leo is out. Why? He's a boy, Zachary. And you're a man. And this is a man's world. Oh, well, I couldn't do that to Leo. Your first profit-sharing check. Payable one week from today. Made out to the order of Zachary Rogers. $50,000. I'm talking 5 0. What does Leo get? Can you read my lips? Nothing. I'll have to think about this. I want your answer by the close of business on Thursday. Leo is out, or the deal is off. Leo, my boy, sit down. <laughs> They need some information on you, too, Mr. Rogers. Isn't my friend terrific? What do you think of Zach? Zachary is out, Leo. He's out? Why? He's a boy. And you're a man. And this is a man's world, Leo. Well, I couldn't do that to Zach. $50,000. Whose name is on that check? Leo Samuels. Zachary is out, or the deal is off. I'd have to think about it. Mm -hmm. You do that. <laughs> One super giant, double everything, and triple cheese. Eight fifty. You've come a long way, baby. Two root beer floats coming right up. Zach, sweetheart. <laughs> Leo, sit down. Just order your favorite pizza. No way. I'm buying. Oh, my treat. You're good people, Zach. What a turnaround, eh? A few days ago, we could barely scrape together 46 cents. But that's going to change, Zachary. And all because I had one simple idea. Your idea? No, no, the puzzle was my idea. Nobody wanted the puzzle. They wanted the $1,000. My idea. Uh, that'll be 980. I don't believe this. I was letting you in on a gold mine. I was even gonna offer you a small piece of the action. You were gonna offer me a piece? I was gonna offer you a piece. Well, while you guys are offering, I'm looking for 980. You know, you got a rotten attitude, Samuels. Now you're gonna get nothing. Wrong. Now you're gonna get nothing. Pete, I smell El Stiffo here. Well, yeah, well, put it on my friend's tab. My pleasure. Build my office. The Rosebud Toy Company. Is this table taken? It's gonna cost you 980. That's what he said. Bill my office. The Rosebud Toy Company. Do you think Rosebud could have told us both the same thing? Oh, it's possible. Men like Rosebud think only of money. They don't care how they get it or who they hurt to get it. Come on, have some chicken Kiev. It's wonderful. You know, Mr. Merlin, maybe you were right. Maybe Leo and I did get a little greedy. Asparagus hollandaise? My own sauce. I don't think we're ready for these kind of pressures. It's a jungle out there. Garlic bread? Things were simple before. Poor, but simple. 
poor but honest. Problems, problems, so many problems. Sometimes when you solve one problem, you solve them all. Mr. Merlin, I think there's a way we can do that. I'll need your help. All right. Let's talk. <laughs> After dinner. Your chicken Kiev is getting anxious. Hello? Leo? What? When? Yeah, sure. Bye. Sorry, Mr. Merlin. Leo wants to have a talk. Oh, what about our talk? Like you said, one problem at a time. Expect to find both you boys here. Mr. Rosebud, I thought about what you said yesterday. In fact, I thought about a lot of things. So did I. This whole puzzle thing isn't sitting right with us. All those people are going to buy it, and they haven't got a chance. I guess our twinge is growing. I don't follow you. That doesn't matter. You asked us to do a terrible thing, because all we could see was dollar signs. We almost did it. But we've made a decision. We're hanging in together. We're going to drop the reward idea and go back to calling it the impossible puzzle. Zachary? Well, I, uh, I think my partner said it all. And this is your final word? Well, I must say, I had you boys figured wrong. Give me your attorney's card. Uh, well, uh, we don't have an attorney. Well, you better get one. I have no intention of dropping the reward idea or calling it anything else. I intend to be the sole owner of the almost impossible puzzle. And I will be. You can't go in there. Max Merlin's name. Hi, Leo. Hi, Zach. Mr. Merlin, what are you doing here? Collecting $1,000. I prefer cash, but I'll take a check. <laughs> That's hardly a completed puzzle, Mr. Merlin. Oh, you want me to put it together, do you? I can, you know. You can? I thought you said it was impossible. Maybe he knows my uncle. You are wasting Mr. Rosebud's time. Indeed you are, Mr. Merlin. I think you'll find that the puzzle is exactly what it claims to be. Virtually impossible to... <laughs> and I think you'll find you owe me a thousand dollars. How did you do that? Zach's uncle showed me. Hey, nice campaign you have here. When does it hit the streets? We ship in the morning. Would you like to see my ad in tomorrow's papers? With every 10 gallons of gas, the solution to the almost impossible puzzle. Of course, you realize that this would ruin the Rosebud Toy Company. Not if you went down to your shipping room and whispered something to them. Don't ship. <laughs> this is outrageous. Your attorney will hear from my attorney. If you had an attorney. <laughs> I'm sorry if I put you two fellas out of business. No problem. It's probably the best thing that could have happened to us. And at the perfect time. It's uncanny. <laughs> hey, Mr. Merlin, what are you going to do with that $1,000? Oh, I don't know. That Rosebud character seemed kind of sleazy. <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath. Least I can do is take you two fellas to lunch. Uh, treats on me. I don't care for tuna. And I hate salami. That was yesterday. Today, we got liverwurst and cream cheese and olives and peanut butter and jelly. There's a little Chinese restaurant down on Grant Street. 